the boat that was made of oh, that'll come back. But notice the construction inside, that the, the ribbing was put outside, and then the, the, um, the interior after the out, external side. Much of this is rotted away, but, but the four feet was from what was the rail above. And these are the two pots that were found, a Roman cooking vessel and some of the nails that were in the boat, as well as a lamp. And uh, the fact of its construction, the fact where it was found, the fact that it had been continuously repaired, and then the robbing of the good parts. Here it is in Maitava, that's a picture of, in mosaic, uh, the fishing vessel, and this is what it would have looked like. And so, um, the, the, uh, the boat is, uh, was repaired, used over and over again, until finally it was pushed into a boat graveyard. And, no longer available to use. It had about a hundred to a hundred and fifty year uh, history. Well, let me go see why we aren't having it. There we go. Experts from the Port of Haifa arrived, engineers. We went to the Air Force, the Navy, the, the Port Authorities, the airplane, the LL. The Air Force offered us a helicopter. At the end, it was Orna who came up with the idea of how to actually uh, move the boat. The solution found was to fill up and wrap the boat with polyurethane of fast-drying plastic foam. That's how we filled it up from the inside, but how do you fill it up from below? It's filled with mud, and if you remove the sand, it will fall over. We solved that by digging channels the width of a person underneath the boat. After digging the channels under the boat, they were filled with foam. You spray the polyurethane, it expands and settles, and another channel can be made right away. At the end, the entire boat was covered with polyurethane, and yet it was still not clear how to move it to dry land. The most logical thing to do was to simply sail it on the Sea of Galilee, and then lift it out with a crane and place it on land. We brought up the steam shovel. We dug a channel from the pit to the water, and we sailed the boat out. For the first time in 2,000 years, it was sailing on the waters of the Sea of Galilee. And then the boat slowly began to come up. Everyone was so excited they had tears in their eyes. To sail in a 2,000 year old boat is simply incredible. The following day, when the crane came to pull it out of the water, there was one very dangerous moment. One wrong move, and it could just disintegrate. The crane lifted the boat and placed it on the shore, and then we could breathe again. We understood that we'd done the first step. We'd completed something.